Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about goblins. In particular, there is a very strong goblin who is legacy strong. So a lot of times you don't see cards that are necessarily legacy strong being reprinted, especially when they were not legal and modern to begin with. The closest card I can think of would be Scavenging Ooze. Well, Scavenging Ooze has fallen out of favor recently, and it's no longer, you know, the card that is the Tamagoyf type of card, but it had a tremendous effect when it first was reprinted because a lot of people were like, oh my goodness, this is a card that will compete directly with Tom Goyf. And for a very long time, it did extremely well in modern, I believe until Blood Braid Elf, until that Jun deck was completely d dismantled from the bannings. Now, the Goblin we're going to talk about, Goblin Pile driver is extremely good. The last time we saw him in standard was when you had the goblin deck type was the best deck type. That was the deck to beat in Onslaught. His standard price or his standard impact is going to impact other cards like Rabble Master. Rabble Master might be modern playable. Uh, previously, it had no chance of being modern playable. Now it has some chance, which is going to increase its price. But I definitely feel like its price will spike one last time before, before it rotates out, which is in, I think, two months from, there's a two month window where Rabble Master and the Pile Driver get to hang out together. And that's a very nasty combination with Dragon Fodder and Hordling Outburst. That's like something out of a nightmare for most opponents, especially blue ones. Now, when you look at the landscape in modern, what type of goblin deck is going to be strong? And it's going to be based on the legacy variant. There's a very interesting legacy variant with Princess Philia. Philia I'm going to talk about a little later. Philia is extremely good in an all-creature goblin deck. Just bonkers good because that extra turn that C is giving you and then the ability to do two damage for a strike. I mean, he's a aggressively costed creature to begin with, but the extra turn by putting your opponent like a splinter twin instead of waiting on turn four to play the splinter twin, they have to wait on turn five. Four and five are, is a huge difference for a red deck. And you don't give up tempo because you're getting a two one for a striker as well. And it's a very interesting deck to look at. Falia, I mean, I look at the card and I say to myself, there's a lot of reasons she might go up or be more played in modern. Goblins is just one of them. So the Goblin deck, I do fully expect it to be a lot better with Piledriver. I fully expect it to be playable, uh, tier 1 even, or tier 1.5. And that's going to, to, it will shift some of the prices on Goblin cards once, you know, Goblin Guide is already really high. Uh, Legion Loyalist is very low. That could be a replacement. I mean, you're looking for one-drop goblins with haste. However, Goblin Rabble Master, that's the big one that I feel like its price is now saved. Maybe during rotation, I would have said, I'll oh, get rid of them right now. But it's got so much upside in the next two months. And even after rotation, it still has some upside. I could see a curve being pile driver. Legion Loyalist, Goblin Guide, Pile Driver into a Rabble Master. And that's a very nasty curve. Um, that's extremely nasty. So I don't know. I mean, I, I can see it. I definitely can uh, see a Goblin deck being very strong in modern, which previously, to my knowledge, there's never been a top eight Goblin deck in, mod in a modern uh, GP. Uh, somebody put, put a link below, but I was looking at it and I couldn't find a deck list for a modern goblin deck. Bye guys.